CoScriptor is a system for recording, automating, and sharing processes performed in a web browser. Instructions for processes are recorded and played back by an extension to the Firefox web browser, and they are stored in easy-to-read text on the CoScriptor website, so that anyone can use them. In our first example, I'm going to create a script to look for houses for sale in Palo Alto, California. I open up CoScriptor in a sidebar and click on the New button to start a script. At this point, CoScriptor automatically records my actions as human-readable and editable text. For example, when I type in Palo Alto zip code into a text box, CoScriptor records it as enter 94301 into the search by zip code text box. Now I'll enter a maximum price for my search, which I will set an inexpensive $1 million. I'll specify two bedrooms, which is recorded as turn on the two bedrooms radio button, and I'll specify that I want to see 20 properties at a time. It turns out there are only two houses in Palo Alto under $1 million. So it looks like to get a reasonable number of houses, I'll have to change my maximum price to $2 million, which I do by editing CoScriptor's textual instructions directly. CoScriptor's interpreter is extremely flexible. I don't have to use exactly the same syntax as CoScriptor's recorded commands. For example, I can type put 94301 into the zip code text box and CoScriptor will also be able to parse it. Now I'll give my script a title and save it to CoScriptor's public wiki. CoScriptor warns me that my script will be readable by others. I'm fine with that, so I click save. Now that I've saved my script, CoScriptor can execute it automatically. In this case, I'll press the Step button to step through each instruction. CoScriptor previews what it is about to do by highlighting the appropriate element in green. By running the script, we can see that there are four houses for sale in Palo Alto under $2 million. Now I'm going to view this script in the CoScriptor wiki, which is our repository for all scripts. From the wiki, I can review the steps in the script, I can tag the script, look at related scripts, and leave a comment. I can also load this script into the CoScriptor sidebar and run it. This time, I press the Run button, in which case CoScriptor runs the entire script without intervention. In my second example, I will do an ego search by searching for my name in Google. Watch what CoScriptor records when I type in my name. CoScriptor records my action as enter your full name, for example, James Lynn, into the Google search text box. That's because CoScriptor has a database of personal information, and in my database, there's an entry full name equals James Lynn. Whenever you type in something that matches a value in your personal database, it will automatically record the name of that item instead of the value. Now my colleague Tessa also wants to run an ego search. She has found my script in the CoScriptor wiki and steps through the script. When CoScriptor sees the instruction, enter your full name, it enters in the value associated with full name in Tessa's database. The personal database feature makes scripts more easily shared. In conclusion, CoScriptor is an excellent tool for recording, automating, and sharing web processes.